All right, so Fiba is done. And now Johannes is going to reconstitute the Oloctate. Just rip the box open. I am not the best at this because I'm still new to it. So if I ask Dad, that's why. Here are the instructions or facts and stuff again. Parker, can you turn the TV down, please? Just pull it open like turn the TV down. this, and then it opens up for you like this. Can you alcohol swap for that? Hmm? Can you alcohol swap for this one? Okay, can you one? Oh, here, right here. No, I need one. Okay, and light like from the FIBA, you just... Pop it off like that, and then clean it with one of these alcohol swabs, and have it so it stays in there, and let it dry, and then slide this out. And what is that? Um, this is the thing that you put on top of it. <laughs> it's like the thing you put on top of it. Okay. It's, it's like the connector piece, you could say. Mm. So open it like this. And then put it on like this, just like the fiba, or the fiba. Okay, then it's like that, and then like this. Dad, you screw in the plunger first. I do, yeah. Huh? Yeah. And that's just beeping because my pump is done. And now take this, and then put it in here, and then screw it up. Well, you don't want to screw it up. Oh. And then pull that off. Mm -hmm. Put it on here. Right? Yep. Okay. And you push this through, right? Mm hmm. I think it worked. <laughs> escaping. If you want, you can like shake it, I guess. Or just take this out to shake it. Just wait for the air to get it. Where's the 10 milliliters from the air? 10 cc milliliters. And this doesn't entirely have to be sterile, but it should. Pull this out. and then pull it out. Sorry. And now when no more water is coming out, you've got all of it. So then you, you push it back up so there's no air in it. Like this. Oops. <laughs> Try and get all the bubbles out. And put it back in there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you take the seam because they weren't. You gotta take the syringe out. Since we're not sure if you have to do this or not, we just want to be safe. Um, we flush it once with this saline. Mm -hmm. And it's going straight to there. And it's a bit bloody from when we injected it. Not really, though. Okay. 
stud. Mm -hmm. And then we take our 10cc syringe and then we attach this to here. And then we pay attention to what we're doing and not the TV, right? I know, I was looking at it. Okay. Now you. I have you on camera looking at the TV. But, anyways, <laughs> go on. I'm looking at this. Okay. And I've never pushed it in. It feels like a bit weird having it being pushed in, but not really at all that much. <laughs> what do you mean by a bit weird? Like it feels like my body's reacting to it just because it's a bit different. How so? What does that mean? Describe that. That's interesting. It's hard to describe. It's just like... Is it tingly going through you or well, what? Kind of. It's just... It feels... Um, it feels like up in here like where the tube goes up mm. like a bit like thicker you could say oh like the okay. density of this the density yeah okay mm. oops sorry take these take this off and now just do a normal flush two ceilings and then the So this one's sort of a slow push, just to make sure that everything gets out of the tubing, and because it's a lot of tubing and whatnot, right, bud? Mm hmm And then what do we do with this one? So then this one's to make sure that all the stuff is gone. It's like fast, slow, fast, slow, or fast, then stop, and fast, then stop, or just go really fast, like yeah, it's kind of meant to just kind of scrub the line and hopefully make sure the bacteria isn't growing up on the inside, right? Yep, and then the heparins is like to make sure it doesn't clot in the line. In the line itself. So the heparin is... Important. Yes, it's about, what, maybe three cc's? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six and a half ml. Milliliters. And so, having this um, heparin, if you don't have it, if it's staying in the line for a long time, for a long time without heparin, mm -hmm. um, then it might clot. So, you know, like, if we don't have any heparin in the house, like it happened at Mum's once, every hour you have to push through a ceiling. Mm. All right, good job, dude. Yeah. That's a Loctate 101. <laughs> and that's a full infusion. So we started at 5. And it is 7.27. And then Michelle has come home and she's eating some of the shepherd's pie I managed to cook all in the while while I did all this. Alright, that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye.